Okay, if you are using Periscope and you accidentally turned off the catch for the Twitter feed, the catch.me, which will save your downloads, as well as if, for instance, it didn't save to your camera roll. Like for my purpose, it didn't save to my camera roll because my camera was too full. So I lost my Periscope broadcast and I want to download them, which also I want to include the comments and all the hearts on the download. Here is a way to use it. Now I have an iPhone 6 Plus and a Mac, but apparently you need to have Yosemite on your Mac that for this to work because I have my other Mac and I tried using it and I couldn't get it to go. So what you're going to do is open up iPhone or sorry, QuickTime. So plug your phone. So again, I've got my 6 Plus Plug your phone into your laptop, then open up QuickTime Player, and now go up to the top here and choose New Movie. Now again, you have to have Yosemite Hello. I just got done working out, so I don't look too good. And I've also got my camera here so you can see it. So now you're gonna click here and choose the phone. So now it's gonna take the screen of the phone so now here's the screen, there's my two kids. And you also now need to switch the microphone. So click here and choose, not that. The microphone. So now it's connected to my phone. And all I'm going to do now is just go to my phone and I'm now recording my screen of my phone and click on, of course, the app which of course it's opening up Periscope now. And go to the people, so click on the little people, which then you click up at the top there and there's my profile. Hi, there's my profile. Make sure you follow me. And now all you do is click on the broadcast and you can see all the broadcasts that I've been doing and the one I really, really wanted, which I was so mad because it was such a good one, is the equipment that you need to create more videos, periscopes, podcasts, and more, and that one. So then all you do is get it open and then now click on your QuickTime, start recording. So now you're recording from the screen and the microphone and you hit play on your scope and now QuickTime is recording the scope, the audio, the video, and it's gonna record all those comments and all the people coming through. So we can see here as it's just continuing to play. And then we will start to see some comments come through, some hearts hopefully will come through. But now QuickTime is recording this and now you'll have the download for it. Once it's done, all you're going to do is then again stop the recording with your QuickTime and then save it. So this is where now you're going to go and export and save it. So again, I'm going to just finish this later. As you can see, the audio is going for the QuickTime. Stop that, go up to the QuickTime and export. I always export it out. And that's it.